total professionals here, really. We're just you know, a little disoriented. That's a real word. How many, pe how many people were down at J.C. Dobbs last night? You didn't tell anyone. We put, Michael and I played at J.C. Dobbs last night. Down, it's, a, it's a downtown club on it's South Street. It's South And it, it's, it's, it's been there so long, and it, it's now called the legendary J.C. Dobbs. So... I felt lucky that I was able to play the club with Michael. It was great. Just the two of you? No, it was a it was a record release party for a band that Michael had recorded with in the studio, and so uh, you know the call goes out for all gypsies, you know, uh, misfits, malcontents, and uh, of course we were there. Yeah, just, just like that. Do you want to show up and play and not get paid? And I'm like, yeah, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> they actually paid us. This is this is the coolest. They actually paid us in beer. They so did. they gave us like token. It was a token, and they gave us like tickets. And uh, so I finally went up and I go, okay, how much are these worth? And they go, well, you for each ticket you get a pounder, like this, right? <laughs> so I go, here you go. So I had I had so many of them I couldn't even carry them all. So then, you know, we found a refrigerator, and then, of course, somebody pilfered, you know, one of my pound pounders. It wouldn't bother me at all, except that they opened it, took a sip out of it, then put it on the table and left, you know. What a waste. Left it on the table. <laughs> and seeing some of the characters in there, you know, Michael goes, well, why didn't you just drink it then? I go, <laughs> <laughs> I've thought about that, but, you know. <laughs> So it was, it was, it was a fun, it was a fun evening. Of course, you can't go to a club like that. Now, here's the thing: really, we we got down there, and you know that the city of Philadelphia and the surrounding counties, and the whole state of Pennsylvania, and pretty much the whole world has been struggling for how long against the cigarette industry, right? So that we could go to a club or a public place, an eatery or whatever, and not come home reeking. Well, that's not the main reason. I'm sure there was the reek clause somewhere in there, but that wasn't the main reason. It was the health thing, the second hand, you know. So, you know, we go in the club. It's And the last time I played there, it was like, it was like, you know, I couldn't I couldn't see. That's, I mean, it was just like, it was so thick. So it was totally clean. I'm going, this is going to be a great experience. Then they go, well, you guys are done playing, so take all your junk and go to the green room. You know? Four stories higher. So we go there, but it's like it's on the fourth floor, and all the staircases are like that wide. Like, <laughs> but like this, and, and look at how thick this is. And, and I'm carrying one of his things and, and, and his guitar thing. I'm carrying my guitar, and he's got his other cello, and it was, it was crazy. And then, of course, all the do doors went the wrong way, so every time we would get to the door, <laughs> both hands are full. You know what I mean? And you wouldn't, you know, so. We got all the way, and it, oh, it, was just, it was crazy. We finally get up to the fourth floor, and there's a 90 degree or 180 degree turn back the other way down this really narrow staircase where you could actually fall off where you came up. And then, and then you enter the green room, and it was green. It was literally green, about this size, but it was a, it had, well, they were burning some sort of incense in there or something, I think. That's right. <laughs> yeah, there's some sort of, it was a, a ropey smell, yeah. you know? <laughs> And uh, and these gentlemen had these little small things, you know. Anyways, we yeah we it was it was so intense that we finally had to leave the room. Yes. What's up about the set list tonight? Well, right. welcome to our concert, by the way. That was by way of introduction. Welcome to our house concert tonight. <laughs> Uh, tonight we're, we're uh, again broadcasting live to the internet, so hello everybody who's out there, whoever's out there. And this there. is a Thrive Station, so what's the idea of Thrive Station? Thrive Station is to uh, thrive. Yeah. Right, sustainable living. That's and it. We have Dennis Rowan over Dennis here. Dennis Rowan here, who's our sustainable uh, living engineer. 
and uh, he's, he's the man that does anything you want to know about energy, saving money, getting money. He's, he's the guy that does it. Um, <laughs> he's the man. Uh, everything in here, in this room, and in this room in here, I think, except, with, except for that lamp right now. Somebody turn that freaking lamp off. Um, is not that one. The this, this one, the other one in that room over the there. One back yeah, there. that one's a, that one's a, a, the, one of the last of the CFLs. But everything in here are LEDs, including the spotlights. And believe it or not, J.C. Dobbs, the legendary J.C. Dobbs, had um, LED lights just like those installed in the club, and it makes perfect economic sense because. They don't have to pay all the bucks on electricity. They can afford now to give us pounders. <laughs> See, you were wondering how that was going to tie in. <laughs> what are we saying? Okay, Southern Rain. Southern Rain, oh. So welcome to the concert. You know Deborah Lee over here. Right side, your left side. Does that mean it's, that's your left side over yes. there, right? Isn't that weird? That's the left. That's your left side. On, on your left is Mr. Michael Ronstadt. Right there. <laughs> Southern rain, fall on me. Take this heart, wash it clean. Trouble time.
Michael Ronson, everybody. Thanks so much, Deborah. Yeah. What's that? What's up next? All oh, right. Well, we have a song called The Crucible that's we're going oh, to play yes. next. Yes. This is kind of a love song. The backstory of this is that uh, I was up at the uh, Steuben Glass Factory up in Corning, New York, where they make all these amazing fine objects of, of uh, out of sand and lime. Yeah. 